Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, a couple of wines from Georgia today, uh, from a winery called Kareba. Uh, I've got a uh, Safaravi red to, uh, uh, that's coming up second. Uh, but first of all, I've got uh, Kareba's 2013 Mutsavani. Uh, that's, the, that's the grape variety. And um, so 12.5% alcohol uh, from uh, Tbilisi. Let's give it a whirl. Well, I'll be honest and say I can't smell a huge amount there. It smells like it's going to have a, a slightly, um, well, yeah, maybe there, maybe there is something there. A bit of citrus, a bit of pine, um, and a, a just ripe pear. It feels like that slightly uh, crunchy pear, um, and, uh, but it feels like a, it feels on that gentle side, uh, not coming up and shouting at you. Let's see whether it shouts when I taste it. There's a rounded, slightly honeyed edge to it. Um, it's not as crisp as I thought it was going to be. Uh, quite, quite a lot of substance in the mouth. Uh, not hugely, not jumping up and, and doing lots and lots of flavours, but has this almost resin-like character. Not out and out retsina type of resin, but it feels like there's something there that is just giving this uh, light pine, uh, almost. Oil is the wrong word, but uh, yeah, just giving giving it texture, um, and the the a yeah, little bit of nuttiness in there, then this pear and a, this, this this citrus tightness, just uh, uh, giving it a bit of freshness, but um, okay rather than great. I'm not jumping up and down and saying it's brilliant, but uh, let's see whether we can uh, jump up and down about the uh, uh, the Saparavi. So this is uh, again 2000. Was it 2013? The previous one? Yeah, it is 2013 uh, Saparavi. And um, have we got anything about what's happened to the uh, wine? No. Let's just give it a whirl. It's almost like a tomato-y character here. Uh, deep, plummy, damson, a uh, little bit of blackberry and black currant. Um, it's, uh, it's quite deep in colour. And uh, it's got, um, yeah, this just slightly, um, uh, you know, tomato, almost a, verging on a little bit of the beetroot. Uh, it doesn't sound very nice, does it? It's, uh, it, smell, it smells good. It smells like it's going to have this, uh, what I call the Central European earthiness about it. Yeah, and, and that slightly beetroot tomato edge stays there. But um, the main event is uh, quite plush, um, plum, damson, uh, blackberry. Dark, soft, plush fruit. Um, if it's it's good, it's not um, it's not hugely complex, uh, but it, it feels like a really honest, nice, juicy glass of uh, of red wine. Um, a, a slightly less of that earthiness than I was expecting, uh, which is, is just an observation. It's not a good thing or a bad thing, but. Um, yeah, I like that, um, and um, I'm trying to think about what I what I'd like to. It's got it's got that juicy plump character that makes me think I would like uh, something like some oxtail with that. Uh, uh, I think I could uh, drink quite a bit of that with some oxtail. Hey, see you soon.